Good morning. Um, this is Saturday morning. Um, I posted a video yesterday, Friday, May 15th, uh, regarding potential ways of, of meeting. Uh, Contra Costa Health Services has okayed what they call highly regulated vehicle-based gatherings. And the most important term there is highly regulated. Uh, first of all, it's by invitation only. Uh, cars must be at least six feet apart. If a car has uh, even one window down, all the occupants of the vehicle must be wearing masks. There has to be a security presence, and since we have no official security officers, the health department says we can hire police officers or hire a licensed security company at our own cost. Um, there are some concerns uh, involved with trying to, to do these things. Uh, first of all, the, 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 the cost of security, uh, and we're checking into the question of whether or not we can designate non-licensed people to act as security officers, or if it has to be someone from, you know, who's had some kind of special training and is licensed. Um, spacing cars with an empty parking space in between, we might be able to accommodate 18 vehicles in a reasonable uh, formation, although 16 might be more realistic. Um, also, the city of Oakley has strict laws regarding outdoor amplification. The use of outdoor amplification equipment requires a permit or possibly a license, which is not cheap, uh, but I still have to get hold some somebody to get some more details on that. It has also been pointed out to me uh, that it's going to be hot around here very soon. Uh, when the interior of a car gets hot, the natural thing to do is to reach for the air conditioning switch, which means starting the engine or killing the battery. A gathering of 18 cars with their motors running would be rather noisy, not to mention that with the windows down, everyone would be getting a good dose of carbon monoxide, which is, is really not something we want to do. So, highly regulated vehicle-based gatherings may be an option for us, and, and we're still checking into those unanswered questions, but they are not going to be a good solution in the summer heat. Therefore, uh, I've taken a look at how we can have cyber church. Um, some of you are familiar with Zoom and some of you are not. So here's how Zoom works. It's a, it's a website. Um, you go to zoom.com or, or zoom.us. Both of those will take you to the same site. Uh, you click on the sign up button and follow the instructions to create an account. It's free and it's pretty easy to do. Once we have all signed up, I can host a meeting. Uh, 100 people can sign into such a meeting, which can last up to 40 minutes, which should be sufficient for us. If we decide we need more time, I would have to buy a pro plan for $15 a month. Nobody else would have to pay, but the host has to. Uh, so here's how the meetings would work. I would create a meeting schedule uh, which would be assigned a, a sign-in code and I would make that sign-in code available to all of you. And since we can have up to 100 people at our cyber church meeting, uh, there's room to invite friends by sharing the time and the sign-in code with them. Uh, on the day of the scheduled meeting, you will log into your account and you will press join meeting and then you will put the code in where you're prompted to do so um, and you should be in. So we get this going, I'll allow a, a, a five minute sign in window before actually beginning. Um, I still need to test this out with my family as guinea pigs. Um, so this week we're still going to go with the lessons and sermon uh, pre-recorded and posted as I have been doing. Uh, if everything checks out well with Zoom, then next week I would like 
to begin having cyber church worship time. Uh, I'll still post the Sunday school lesson as I've been doing and I will be able I should be able to, it says you can, I should be able to record our Zoom meeting and then I can post that as well. Um, I know many of you are eager to hear all of the musicians together and to sing hymns with the music. I wish there was a reasonable way to do that, but since church musicians are not considered essential services workers, uh, we might be found violating the shelter in place order which um, despite this new car gathering thing the shelter in place order is otherwise still in fact the same as ever so um, that's where we're at this morning still going to look into getting some answers regarding the uh, highly regulated vehicle based gatherings but uh, hoping to have um, zoom going by uh, a week from tomorrow and thus being able to have Cyber Church. I will keep you posted during the week. Look forward to seeing you all, if not in person, then at least you know via camera. Uh, God bless you. Have a, have a good day.